1962 was the year that Indigenous people in Queensland were allowed to vote courtesy of the Australian government. It was also the year in which Margaret Olley opened an exhibition at the Johnston Gallery. Amidst that exhibition were eight paintings by Olly of Indigenous subjects, and the response that she had was mixed. It was mixed for a number of reasons. Many people perhaps saw the paintings and the Indigenous subject as a provocation on Olly's part, but nevertheless, it helped to define the very point of view that Olly had towards her Indigenous subjects. Margaret Olly apparently met her subjects travelling on a tram in you know, southern Brisbane, a trip that she would take each day to an antique store. She got to know her Indigenous subjects by name. She used some of those names as titles for her paintings, but she developed a relationship to these women. And indeed, she asked them to be in her paintings. In Patricia with Fruit and Flowers, we see a very exotic coupling of, you know, her, her flowers and Ollie's mandarins. There's a sort of riot of colour, uh, you know, in the oranges and reds and the pinks. And indeed, when you look at Patricia's shirt, which is nominally white, you see many of those colours, you know, being bounced about. The hues are taken from the variety of colours around the sitter, who remains contemplative, but nevertheless, those colours are uh, shown in, in, the, in the shirt of the sitter, convincingly. Ollie is enthralled, of course, in terms of still life painting, to the very, the very many masters that she, you know, would, would look toward. And in this case, Cezanne, of course, comes to mind. The sitter isn't there just to embellish the flowers, and the flowers aren't there just to embellish the, the sitter, the mandarins notwithstanding. It is a portrait of two things simultaneously, the sitter and the inner life that we see uh, in the sitter and also the flowers and the still life arrangement itself. I heartily recommend this painting to you. It was a painting that was included in the Ollie retrospective, A Generous Life at Quagoma in 2019.